All right, now we're going to take a look at the new Xbox Guide. Just like before, no matter what you're doing, if you're in the middle of playing a game or watching a video, you just press the guide button and it pops up. And the new guide is essentially uh, just a smaller version of the old dashboard. So you have all the different blades, the marketplace, games, your profile, uh, media, and settings. Now back in marketplace, you can open up the game marketplace, video marketplace, check out your downloads, uh, redeem any codes that you might have. Now, something you should know is that going to the marketplace will end any session that you're in. So if you're watching a video or playing a game, uh, it will take you back to the dashboard. So I'll just open up arcade games, for example, and it opens up the marketplace. But it does just go back to the dashboard. So you can't go to the marketplace within the guide, buy stuff, and then continue playing whatever game you were playing. But also in the guide, uh, you have the games played. You can check out all your achievements that you've earned. And uh, from the screen, you can also remove entries that have zero points. So if I were to come down here, let's see, let's find one. Uh, all right, here's Quake Wars. I played Quake Wars a little bit, didn't like it too much, didn't get any achievements, but it's cluttering up my screen, so I just press the X button, and I choose to delete it. And it's gone. Uh, it's a good idea, and it, it is helpful that you can remove these entries. Uh, I would note that you do have to do them one at a time. So if you have a ton of trial games, like trial XBLA games, it'll take you a while to get rid of all of them. I'm just going to get rid of Shrek and Roll right now. Uh, but that, it's a nice new addition. It's something that people have wanted for a long time. And I should note that you can only get rid of zero-point entries. So if you manage to get an achievement in Yaris, like I did, you're stuck with it. And you can take a look at your game library, just like before, this will end your session, take you back to the dashboard. Now on the main screen here, you have uh, the shortcut to the dashboard. Quick launch is very cool, it's probably one of the best new features. You hit that and it brings up a list of your most recently played games. You can also check out, check out your latest downloads, you can check out all of your games. I'll come back to recent, and from here I can launch any game I want. So I'll go to Duke Nukem, and it just launches right into the game immediately. And you can launch from one game to another game, you can launch from a video to an, a game, you can basically do whatever you want. It's, it's very cool. It's time to kick ass with you bubblegum. Head back to the dashboard. Which takes a little while. <laughs> now you're back here in the guide. You can take a look at your friends list, and unlike the one that you'll see in the dashboard, uh, you get uh, a more traditional friends list. What your friends are doing, what they're playing. You can open up your party, uh, you can invite people into your party, and you can take them from game to game. Uh, we're checking that out in a different video. Messages, chat, play whatever game happens to be in the tray. You can check out all your various media, your video library, music, pictures, media center. You can open up your alternate soundtracks, you know, music that you have on your hard drive. Uh, you should know that uh, going to video library, music library, will also take you back to the dashboard, so it will end whatever session you're in. And then you have settings. You can check out your profile, uh, notifications. Uh, this is the little thing that pops up, the little bleep bloop that pops up when you get an achievement or if someone messages you. Um, so you can choose to either display those or not uh, if you're watching videos or if just in general. I should note this is the only place you can find notifications is in the guide. You can't find it in the ordinary system settings, so if you want to change it, you have to come here. Game preferences, family settings, system settings, account management, and turning off the console. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's really slick, pretty easy to use, a nice way to get around so you don't have to come all the way back to the dashboard. Uh, quick launch, especially, is a really good feature. And uh, overall, it works really well.